Hello carpers, welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are back down at the Syndicate. We are here for three nights, uh, just having a little look round, but I reckon I'm going to be jumping in peg three this time. Uh, someone is in peg one, but I fancy a change anyway, so we're going to jump in peg three. But yes, guys, the temperature has dropped. As you can see, I've got my beanie on. Um, on the car on the way up here, it was saying like 10 degrees. Um, yeah, crazy. Considering last time we fished, that was like 20, nearly 30 degrees. It was absolutely boiling. Um, but yes, guys, here for three nights. Going to get the gear sorted out. I'll see you soon. Well, Carpers, had a little walk around and uh, yeah, decided to go in number three. Um, see what happens in here for 24 hours. Uh, the fella in peg one is disappearing tomorrow morning. So, depending how I get on here, maybe I will jump in peg one tomorrow morning. But all the gear is round. Uh, the sun has just come out, thank God. Uh, there's no one else on the lake, it's just me and the fella in peg one. I was gonna come here last night, but light, daylight wasn't on my side, and also it was due to uh, piss it down, and uh, yeah, it did. Absolutely hammered it down, so, so I've decided to leave it till this morning, and then, uh, yeah, fish through till, till Saturday morning. So we've got three nights on the bank. Hopefully, we can keep up with our catching streak on here. Um, yeah, I've decided I'm pretty chuffed that someone's in peg run because I know if peg run was free, I would have jumped in there because I've been catching. But I'm glad that someone was in there because I wanted to try a different swim. Uh, I think last time I was here, um, Lou Dog, Lou, whatever his name is, Lewis, he had a 37, 35 out of here. Uh, PB for him. Um, yeah, lovely fish that was. Lovely dark scaly mirror that was. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, hopefully we can get the fish turned on. Uh, got myself a big bag of pellet. What they feed them on in here. Uh, what we got left over from Coking Farm. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have something. Well, I'm going to get these wads out. It's daytime now. There's no uh, rain due till this afternoon so we're going to get the rods out first have a little lead about spawn a little bit of bait out not too much and then hopefully we're going to bag a fish Yes, carp as well, that is everything set up now. Two rods out in the water. Uh, one on a double 15mm uh, S7 and the other one on a 15mm uh, snowman topped with a pink pop-up. But yeah, we've just got it uh, 17 and a half wraps to the island. If you can see out there, wind's blowing in this corner so it's looking good for a bite. Uh, just put singles out for now while I set the bivvy up, set me camp up and everything. Going to leave them for a couple of hours, see what happens, see if I can see any fish moving. Um, going to let the fish tell me where they are and everything. Just going to keep watching the water, see what happens. Uh, leave that third rod out. Uh, later on I'm going to probably put that out with a zig. But for now I'm just going to keep watching the water, see what the fish are doing. Um, I'm just not going to commit to any spots yet. Hopefully they show themselves. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Subscribe guys, loads of you haven't subscribed. Help me out with this channel. Like it, share it, comment, 
I'll see you soon. Look at that carpers, little double, triple rainbow, whatever it is. Just come out to a redoing my rods, I'll just see that. And why am I redoing my rods? Because I'm sure there's a trailer out there guys, I'm sure of it. Um, I've probably redone these rods two or three times now. Um, first one, bobbin pulled up tight, started taking line, reeled it in, nothing. Redone that rod, right hand rod done pretty much the same. Um, struck into it, nothing. Um, it keeps doing it. Not sure what's going on. Maybe this, I don't know. I honestly think there's a, a trailer out there. Um, but I'm going to keep plugging away, going to redo this rod, put it back out. I'm only fishing two for now. Like I said, I'm going to probably jump into peg one um, come tomorrow morning if I can get up early enough and um, get in there before someone else does. But hey ho, if it does, it does. If I don't, I don't. But anyway, I'm going to get this out and uh, I'll see you soon. Good evening carpers, well unfortunately no fish yet but we've still got three nights to go, um, yes, rain stopped, um, weather's been so up and down today, one minute it's uh, raining, next minute it's uh, thundering and sunny and oh, it's been absolutely crazy but yeah no fish unfortunately but as you can see it's looking lovely out there guys, looking good for a bite not seen any fish um, jump out or anything all I've had a couple to the right of me in peg two or peg one one of the two so yes guys but don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos but come on guys show the love hit that bell icon hit that like button comment down below uh, where are we going next time after this session we are at Loggies Lake uh, on the Stour Valley um, in Kent. We're there for the Subcarp Social. Absolutely buzzing for that. End of October. I know I said I was going to try and get on Credence, but unfortunately I left it too late and it's all fully booked. But hey ho. Uh, so I was thinking about burners. And then my old mucker, Tony from up north, well, he's just moved to Lincoln. Uh, he's done a couple of sessions on Norton Disney. Uh, first time he blanked, second time he's uh, caught caught a decent fish out of there. No, a cu couple of fish. I think he fished Hodgetts Lake. But anyway, guys, we have sorted it out so we can go up and see Tony. We're going to have three nights with Tony on Norton Disney. Um, it's been a long time since I've been there. I fished it once before for the Mad Bait Social on Turner's Lake. We had a fish out, didn't we? But not been back since. So what a really good excuse to go up, go up there. Uh, see me old mucker Tony. Uh, not seen him since Orchid Lakes last year. So April last year has been a long time. Uh, so it's going to be nice to catch up with him. Hopefully bag a few carp for you the guys and get back down uh get back down uh, norton disney again but anyway guys it's 20 past seven now it's going to get pitch black really really quickly now so i'll see you during the night of a fish or i'll see you in the morning see you later yes carp as well it's half one in the morning and we've just had uh, a bit of a finicky bite on that left hand rod and i think that i've got the biggest common in the lake I'm not sure, it's 35 pound. So yes, finally I've broken my uh, common PB. Uh, absolutely over the moon with this fish. It's half one in the morning. Come on a double 15 mil uh, S7 bottom bait like I've been catching over there. <sighs> Crazy, I haven't put no bait out whatsoever. Literally just been chucking singles out. Look at that beauty guys, 35 pound, absolutely over the moon with this fish.
yes, finally, after about, firstly, good morning, and what a good morning it is, as you can see, nice and sunny out there, uh, not got much, much sun in this peg yet, but up there we are, should we go up there, shall we, should we warm up, uh, but yes guys, finally, after about 19, 18, 19 years, of having that common PB, um, yeah, absolutely buzzing. That was a really weird take, because you know, like yesterday, I kept saying about um, been getting like weird trailer takes and striking into it and nothing there, and this one was exactly the same. It, it kept doing it most of the night. It was really pissing, pissing me off, to be honest, um, but just left it. And um, yeah, that, that done it about half one in the morning. And um, I thought, Do you know what, I'm moving in the morning. I've got my alarm set for like half five so I can get up, get round there and um, jump in the pegs. I think our matey was leaving early in the morning. And yeah, the rod just kept doing it, sort of went up tight. Didn't take any line. Dropped down a little bit, like, like a drop back sort of thing. Um, which he's been doing the whole time I've been here. Um, pulled up tight again. I thought, Do you know what, I'm just gonna just gonna bring it in, leave it in now. It's disturbed me any. I need some sleep. Um, yeah, sort of struck into it and felt something heavy, but nothing was pulling like the other end. So it was weird. Just felt like it was on a snag or so. Do you know what I mean? You can feel it's on a snag, but but anyway, cut a long story short. Thirty-five pound common. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing with that. Um, yeah, um, as you can see guys, um, it was like half one in the morning, I'm not the best at taking uh, night shots or anything, so literally just done a little video, and um, yeah, put, put sent it on its merry merry way, that come out, um, like I said before guys, and no bait, I've literally put no bait out whatsoever, literally just chucking singles, so what do I do today, I'm obviously standing in this peg now, um, the, the bigger fish do seem to come out from this peg, so I'll be stupid to move. We've got two nights left, two more days. Um, I spoke to the bailiff this morning. Um, he wants a picture of the fish because he's not sure which one it is. Um, it could possibly be the 31.2 that I had, the first 30 I had out of it. could possibly be that one that's put on the weight. But we did say uh, that could be a common called the boss that hasn't been out for two years but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to tell because like I said I didn't really take um, any decent pictures to be honest I should have done some pictures on the mat um, but it is what it is isn't it um, you can't turn the clocks back now I just wanted to I just wanted to get the fish back because so obviously I caught that fish. I put it in, put it in the retainer, uh, left it out there while I was sorting everything else out, camera and everything. Um, trying to trying my best to get some decent light in, try and sort out some light in and get the camera sorted out, just so I could, get, you know, get the best little video I could. But I've not even checked the video back yet. Uh, that might even be crap as well. We might not have no footage whatsoever. <laughs> But anyway guys, it is half eight in the morning. Um, so as soon as I caught that fish last night, I turned my alarm off because I thought, well, what's the point in in my changing pegs? Um, just caught a lovely 35 pounder. Uh, biggest one I've had out of here so far. So we've had three 30s out of here and they've all been commons. I need a big mirror now, come on boys. What's, what's 23 pound maybe? That's been the biggest mirror I've had. Um, so yeah, right, I want to stop waffling on, don't forget to like subscribe guys, hit that bell icon, comment, share, come on, let's get me up to a million subscribers, so we can uh, earn some decent money and we can start going to some adventurous places, I'm only kidding guys, but yeah, do like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, I'm going to rebate these rods and sort out my plan of action for this session now because as I said I was planning on moving so I didn't really commit, I was, being, oh, I was quite surprised really, um, I was being really lazy yesterday because I had a move in my head, I thought yeah just chuck singles out, uh, we're moving in the morning and as soon as we get in that peg we'll concentrate on that but 
Yeah, I'm going to stay here now. Definitely, 100% stay here. Uh, I want a big mirror. I'll be absolutely over the moon if I caught a 30 plus mirror this session as well. Uh, I'd be blinding. Anyway, see you later, guys. Well, Carpers, just made up a little bit, a little bit of bait. Um, nothing special, to be honest. As you can see in there, we've got some little, little tiny dumbbell S7s. We've got some 15 mil S7s and some 18 mil S7 S7s. Uh, got no liquid in there whatsoever. And we're also using some of these 14 mil Ala Aqua uh, pellets because I know they get fed on uh, pellets in here really well. So. Just going to put out this bucket over the three spots, well over the two spots, I haven't decided on a third spot yet, but I'm going to get this out and I'll see you in a minute. Well, carpers, I just spotted out um, a load of bait on them two spots. And do you know what? I fancy an early morning stroll. So I haven't put the rods in. I'm just going to have a little walk around the lake, stretch the legs, and uh, see if I can see anything about Well, carpers, I'm back at the peg. Another lovely walk around, stretch the legs. Uh, didn't see any fish. Thought I'd see a little bit of movement over the back, but that's really nice and sunny over there. It's nice. Um, yeah, gonna get these rods out, get two rods out. Not sure what I'm gonna do with a third one. Still waiting for the fish to uh, show me where to fish, but yeah, um, definitely sticking that rod back on that same spot i'm gonna put both of them on the uh, double 15 mil s7 bottom bait i'm just gonna match the hatch it seemed to work for me and peg one and it's it worked for me uh where was we coke and farm it worked for me there we picked up a few fish and it's it's worked here um not sure if putting a load of bait out is going to scare them off i'm hopefully it's going to draw them in uh, maybe that £35 common last night was just a, a lucky, you know, a lucky, uh, lucky fish. Because I know they do like a lot of bait in here. Um, and that's what's good about this syndicate. Um, the owners and the bailiffs do put a hell of a lot of bait in here just to try it and get the, uh, the weights up. And they do seem to be um, getting the weight up really quickly. So I reckon I'm definitely going to be coming back on here next year because uh, this is going to be doing a 40 next year um, got a good feeling and hopefully I'll be the one to catch it and that'll be a new PB but while we're here uh, thinking about it guys <coughs> every month for the last three months I've had a 30 which is absolutely wicked I think I had uh, in July I had that £32 common and then um Last month I had a Casper, £39, and then obviously that one last night, £35. Uh, but I'm going to get these rods out and I'm going to get the camera out. I'm dreading it, to be honest, guys, because oh, I don't know what it was going to be like. But yeah, I'm going to get the camera out and uh, I'm going to see what the footage is like from last night. I just really hope it's good and hopefully I can get it home um, and edit a decent picture from it. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Well, carpers, just had an update on that fish that I had last night. That fish was stocked in here about two years ago uh, in winter. Um, I'll get clarification on that. I'm sure they said two years ago in the winter at £21. That fish I actually had, it was my first fish I had from here at £31 something. Remember uh, that grey one? I'll put a little picture up now. Yes, that fish, I had that at £31, what, 
three, three months ago, four months ago maybe. I'll have to have a little look. So probably about three months ago. Um, and yeah, it's it is absolutely piling on the bait. Um, everyone reckons that's going to be a 40 soon. But yes, yeah, so I had a 35 pound uh, recapture. So yes, guys, a recapture already. Um, absolutely over the moon with that fish. Um, near enough pristine fish that is. Um, and yeah, give it next year. Like I said, next year is going to be a 40 in here. And I reckon, I was talking to John the Bailiff and he reckons that'll probably be the first one to go 40 in here. Um, yeah, absolutely over the moon. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep fishing here. I said before anyway, didn't I? I'm going to rejoin. Um, love this lake. Uh, like I said, they've got a really good feeding program. And there is proof in the pudding, guys. Um, that fish has put on three pounds since since June. Um, the other bailiff said Ben. Um, so yeah, the feeding program they're doing is is really really good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop waffling on. Just thought I'd give you a little a little update on that fish. Uh, rods are out of the money. Turn this camera around. Yeah, rods are out of the money. Hopefully we're gonna. Snag another fish. Oh, just see a little heron over there. Just popped his head out of the water. As soon as I went to film it, it's uh, dived back down again. Let's see where it pops up. Pretty sure they stayed down for quite a while. But anyway, oh no, it was over, it was over there. Mate, that literally dived here and it ended up right over here but yes guys don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell icon show me some love carpers let's uh let's help this help me help me grow this channel uh we're probably four years old now um it's doing reasonably well um i'm not doing this for the money i just do it do it for the love Anybody that knows me, um, I work on the railway, I work six, seven days a week, I've got family at home, I very hardly, rarely get out fishing, and when I do, I make the most of it, like I am this session, um, getting out for three nights. Um, so yeah. Would love to grow this channel uh, a little bit more. Build the old money up in the YouTube, and... Uh, get on some uh, crazier sessions anyway tight lines all see you later well carpers have decided to put just a little roaming rod out while I'm sitting here watching the water I'm just gonna fling this solid bag out but a top little tip that I do is whenever I'm using solid bags I always put Blobs of putty up the line, and it's done me well, very, very well in the past when I've been struggling for fish. It just helps keep that that bit of line on the deck. Anyway, I want to get this out. So yes, carpers, just put that rod out to um, basically in line with that tree there. Um, it's probably not in my water to be fair, but no one else is fishing. If anything, anyone does turn up on the left hand side, I will bring it in. Hence why I'm only fishing a uh, roaming solid bag on it. But that solid bag consists of a PB wafter um, inside the bag. And it's got the uh, crayfish mini mix. And inside that I've sort of mixed, mixed the mini mix up with the insect meal. So, fingers crossed, you never know. Uh, probably leave that out there for a couple of hours and I'll probably just keep roaming it about, see if we can pick anything up. If no one turns up in uh, peg two, I might uh, venture over to the right a little bit, see if we can uh, pick something up. Uh, but come tomorrow, I'm thinking about... Just wait, wading out to where that stick is. Just having a little, little lead about down here. You know, sort of, sort of down here somewhere. See if I can find a nice little clear area. Catapult a bit of few, yeah, a few baits over it, and see if we can uh, pick something up close in. You never know, guys. 
I think we're, we're good for one more fish. Um, I'm feeling really confident about this peg now. I wasn't when I first turned up, but since we've had that that common, um, feeling really confident about this peg. Come on, the big mirror. Come on. Well, late evening now, just started to rain a little bit. Um, I was thinking about redoing the rods, but I left them out yesterday and they uh, it still went off. So, uh, But I did spawn um, the rest of that bucket of bait out, so probably another 20 spums, 15 spums, uh, probably another few kilo. But yeah, hopefully we'll have sand again tonight, if not tomorrow morning, but... It's been strange today because yesterday I was getting them false takes or the you know, trailer or whatever going through my lines but I've had nothing like that today which has been good because yesterday it was really annoying so hopefully we're uh, literally just going to get full blown runs now anyway look you can see the rain's here <laughs> Yeah, the rain's coming down. Well, I'm going to cook myself some dinner. If I don't see you tonight, I will see you in the morning. Ciao. Well, carpers, got in just in time. Look at that. Absolutely chucking it down. It's hail. Hailstones. Del Kim's are dancing. All right, let's get some food on. And tonight we have got a sticky sweet chilli chicken stir fry um, I have got rice for this but I can't be asked to make it so I'm just going to cook this and woof this down because this is absolutely lovely guys if you're ever on the bank and looking for something different to eat get this, this is banging Whoa, that looks absolutely banging I don't even think I need any rice it's got veg and all that lot can't wait to tuck into that. Ah, oh, beauty. Got to eat good on the bank. Good morning, carpers. Well, what a really misty day it is today. Well, this morning, should I say. But, very uneventful night last night. Um, no beeps, no nothing, uh, which was nice because I got a good sleep. And just as it got light. Yes, we've got one in the net. Just landed this about 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, just got back in the bivvy just to let it recoup for a little bit. Um, that come on the left hand rod on the pub chucked solid bag with the PB wafter in it. But we're going to get this camera set up. It's not very big, it's probably high double, low 20, but we're going to get the camera set up and get this way. Well, should we weigh it? I don't think we're going to weigh it. Let's get this photographed and videoed. I'll see you in a minute. Well, Carpers, it has just gone past 6 a.m. in the morning, it's just got light. Um, we had a run on our left hand rod, a little drop back, um, literally hit into it straight away. And this has come on the pub chucked PB Wolf there, as I said before. I said I wasn't going to wear it, but it's a little stunning little mirror. Uh, we said we wanted a mirror this session, uh, £22. Um, over the moon with this cup, uh, it's two of this session so far. Still got 20, just over, well, 30 hours to go. Let's hope we can bag a big one. <laughs> There we go guys, 22 pound syndicate mirror. What a lovely stunning little fish this is. One for the future this is.
Well, carpers, it is about half ten now. Uh, I've rested to swim for a couple of hours. Um, went down the shop, got a, another couple of drinks and a coffee. Um, yeah, just had a little freshen up in the car, changed all my clothes, look. Uh, feel nice and fresh now. Uh, but yeah, what a, what a cold morning it's been this morning. Uh, you can see all the mist all over, over the water. Really misty, uh, misty morning. But yeah, um, I'll turn this camera around. Yeah, just got back, look, as you can see the bivvy is absolutely soaked, but the sun is beaming and it is warm, but this pig don't get the sun yet. So come tomorrow when I'm packing down, it's gonna be wet, but I'm gonna try and get everything up there so I can, um, yeah, dry it out. But yes, guys, we've had another fish, um, that 22 pound mirror, and that come on the pub chucked uh, solid bag. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure what to do today. I think I might might chuck a zig out. I keep saying it. Um, it does look a bit a bit ziggy ziggy out there. Um, Tom that's in peg one. He's not had anything, but it looks really good over there for a bite. He's here for another two nights. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, he's going to have something. Uh, just notice there's some feed and bubbles coming up in the middle. Probably about ten wraps out. Um, I did say yesterday that I was going to try and bait up a little spot to the left, didn't I? But I didn't. I was being lazy. Um, I am a fairly lazy fisherman sometimes. But I'm going to refresh these rods, rigs, uh, check the hooks, uh, make up another solid bag. I'm going to pub chuck that into the same sort of area um, and see if we can snag something else. But yes guys, keep watching, because we have been sent through uh, a bivy light to review uh, from Sun Blesser. It's the new 2024 version. Um, I think we've got the 2022 version, so there's uh, loads, loads more upgrades. Just like to say massive thank you to Gavin for sending me it. And uh, I'm going to be doing a little review and showing you all the changes and differences is. differences there are on it compared to the older one. But stay tuned for that, guys. Hopefully, we're going to bag another fish. Well, those two rods out, guys. And these two gone back out exactly the same as before. Double 15 mil on the left-hand rod. And no, tell a lie, that right-hand rod. Uh, sorry, the middle rod now. I've put out on a little 12mm PB pop-up. Uh, just going to give that a go. And out in the middle of the water, I did notice some fizzing, literally about halfway out, or maybe a third of the way out. So I just catapulted a load of uh, S7 and, um, I say house pellet, but the pellet they feed in here. Um, yeah, just going to chuck a solid bag on it, which I'll show you now. Nothing, nothing special garbers, just a little bag of goodness. Just got the old crayfish mini mix in there. If you can see, I've got a little, little layer of the um, insect meal in there as well. Um, and what have I put in there? I don't know if you can see it. In there I have put a little 10 mil, I think. 10 mil or 8 mil S7 boily, but I've tipped it off with a little tiny sliver of the pink peril pop-up just to give it a little bit of a, a little sighter. But yeah, I'm gonna get this out and hopefully we're gonna bag a fish. Well, carpers, it's just gone midday now. Uh, rods have been out for an hour or so. Uh, I think it's time to spot some bait out. Uh, I'm not gonna put anything out on that right hand rod because I'm gonna catapult it out. But them two spots over there near the island, the tip of the island, gonna spot out some uh, bait. And hope to sit on it now, ready, ready for tonight. Hope well. I've had fish the last two nights, so who knows? We might have something tonight. But by all accounts, I've literally just realised, guys, it is Friday the thirteenth. So fingers crossed. Touch wood. Nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, but fingers crossed. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to bag a car. <laughs> 
I'm absolutely over the moon that we've caught £35 common and a £22 mirror, but I want one more. Am I being greedy? No, I'm not being greedy. I'm here for three days, so I want a fish a day. So I want that £30 mirror. I'd absolutely be over the moon if I caught a £30 mirror. That would make up my session. And this will probably be B. Just get used to it, guys. Absolutely lovely day today. No rain whatsoever. But this is probably going to be the last session on here. Enjoying the sun. Because I'm probably not going to get back down here till October time. Which, unfortunately, as we know, is going to be the end of the summer. It's going to be autumn. Uh, I think it's autumn now, but hey-ho. Right, we're going to spot some bait out, and I'll speak to you soon. Well, tonight for dinner, we are being boring. We've literally just got bacon burgers. Looking forward to it, though. Do like a good burger on the bank. Brought that right hand rod in. Not sure what to do with it for the night. Um, bought it in, that was a little pub chuck. Uh, bought that one in, that was full of weed, so I'm probably not going to put it back there. I may, may put it back over to the left where I had that fish this morning. Um, going to wait and see if anyone um, jumps in four, five or six, four, five or boises. If no one turns up there, then I'm going to pub chuck it out there because it is technically not my water. But if no one's fishing it, then oh well. What does it matter, eh? All right, I'm going to keep an eye on these burgers. I'll see you soon. Well, carpers, dinner was lovely. Got a lovely full belly now. But as you can see, I've got no rods in the water. Cooker decided to die, run out of gas. Um, I left the uh, gas in the um, in the car, so I'm not one to uh, leave my rods out while I go to the car because it's, it's quite a way to be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it anyway, so I reeled in for have a little rechuck, I suppose, for the night. Oh. Come on the fish, one more please, just one more. A 30 pound mirror. That would go down absolutely amazing. Come on, let's go. Well carpers, going into the last night. Look at the skies. It's been an absolutely lovely day today. Lovely weather. Sunny all day, no rain. Not seen any fish though. Still only got two rods out. I've got a solid bag made up. I'm going to wait until it gets really dark. The old moon's out tonight. I'm yeah, going to wait until it gets a little bit more darker. See if anyone turns up. If not, I'm going to punch one out there. <sighs> oh well. Not sure when I'm going to be back down here again. Anyway, tight lines. Good morning carpers, as you can see the sun is absolutely beaming this morning, uh, what beautiful morning it is, um, unfortunately no fish, um, I was hoping we was giraffes having during the night or first light like we have the last two nights but hey ho we can't win them all can we, uh, just having a little little slow pack down, I uh, need to get home, got things to do, got work tonight, uh, just got everything out in the sun, just uh, drying it off a little bit. Um, hopefully, um, I've got about two hours fishing left. Hopefully, we can snag something in the next two hours. But if not, um, we've had two fish. We haven't blanked. But anyway, I'm going to carry on watching the water. Hopefully, get a fish. Have a slow pack down. I'll see you soon.
Well, that is it, Carpers. The fat lady has sung. Everything is dry. Just got the three rods out now. Going to bring them in right now as soon as I finish this video. So this is the outro. Uh, thank you for joining me on my little syndicate session. We had two fish. Uh, finally broke my common PB of £32.2 to £35. Uh, finally, after 18 years, I think it was 2006 I had that uh, PB. But yes, guys, we've, second second evening we had a £22-pounder, didn't we? Uh, absolutely over the moment, them two fish. Oh, just see a fish going past me, a uh, peg. Cruising along the top. Maybe I should have put a zig out. Hey ho, I'm absolutely over the moment then carp guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And next time I will see you at Loggy's Lake for the sub carp social. Make sure you tune into that guys because that's going to be a banging social. Tight lines all, see you later.